Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about plateauing. I've had been on a plateau for probably almost a month now. I have lost 42 pounds and I am stuck at 198 pounds. So here's the thing. I've tried to increase my calorie intake and see if that would work. Um, it hasn't worked. I, I gained. So I was like, hmm, okay, no, this isn't for me. And then I started to exercise longer than usual. And that didn't help either. So I'm trying to figure out this plateau. And I might need help. But anyway, so while still trying to figure out my calorie intake and everything, I have decided to adjust what exercise I'm doing. So I've been doing treadmill and walking. That's literally all I've been doing as far as exercise. That is not work related. I work in retail, I work in electronics, so I'm constantly moving around and I am constantly lifting TVs. I'm constantly replacing stuff for photo lab. So I work like, I work all electronics in my area. So of course I'm moving every day when I work. Um, but for my days off, however, I do treadmill or I go on a walk. And my walks are normally, normally around 25 to 45 minutes depending on where I go. And my treadmill, um, I do 20 minutes to 45 minutes. And that really, I guess, hasn't been helping anymore. So today I went to the Y with my sister and my fiancé to see if um, doing, I think it was like 30 minutes of cardio, which was on a treadmill which their treadmills, they incline. They have like a higher incline than what my treadmill is. My treadmill only inclines twice. This one, it got up to 13 for my incline. So I was like, oh boy. Um, so I did that for 30 minutes. And then I went to the weightlifting area and I lift weights. And like, dude... I'm like aching in some places, like definitely my legs I am and definitely my arms I am aching because of lifting. And the thing is, is that I haven't been to the Y probably since last May actually because I ended up getting a planter's wart on my foot from going swimming at the Y. And my doctor, she wouldn't put the like little acid pads I guess they use she wouldn't do that she would freeze them and I went through like three or four treatments of freezing and it just it didn't come off so instead you know my dad's like you know what I had a planter's wart on my foot when I was little and they had to put acid on it and that got rid of it so he actually went and found these acid pads from CVS and bam it was gone and by time my freaking Planter's wart was gone. It was already winter time. And during winter time in retail, that means working. Just flat out working. So I had no way to like go to the Y because I always worked the mid shifts. And so that really sucked. And then finally, um, after the holidays, our Y membership ended up needing to be renewed so it's suspended so I had to pay money to go and renew the Y because I pay yearly I don't pay monthly and so I had to go ahead and renew our Y membership and here we are today went to the Y um yeah I had to I, I was so exhausted I fell asleep I had to go to sleep after I ate lunch. I was like, mm, girl, I'm tired. 
But anyway, I just wanted to like update you guys on my weight loss journey. And if you are at all plateauing, number one thing is, is when you are plateauing, you need to figure out what you are currently doing and what you need to change. Or at least like change little things and see if that works. But I know the biggest thing that will help you would be your calorie intake either increasing it or decreasing it. I just have to find out how much I need to increase it, which is really freaking hard for me. But um I think that I really think that's my problem is my calorie intake, to be honest. I think that I think I really think that's my calorie intake. But yeah, so if you are plateauing, write down what you are eating or track what you are eating so you can see how many calories you eat in a day. And then figure out how you can change what you are eating or how much you are eating. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know how my weight loss journey is doing and hopefully give you some tips and tell you that you are not alone on your plateau journey. I'm kidding. You are not alone, though. A lot of people go through this whole plateauing stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know. Anyway, subscribe if you're not already. Um, follow me on Instagram. I am CKW039. That is where I post all my stuff about my weight loss journey. So I bombard Instagram with my with my weight loss journey. Anyway, so um, catch you guys later. Bye.